Oh, my reel's failing. My reel. See, that's the uh, clam trying to dig back into the ground. Welcome to another episode of Northwest Fishing Secrets, guys. I completely forgot to film an intro, so here you got it. I'm uh, out at the Pacific coast of Washington State fishing for crabs, surf perch, and razor clams. And if you guys are brand new to my channel, then of course feel free to subscribe after the video so that you do not miss my weekly fishing adventures. All right, guys, this is where the video is going to get a little weird. We're going to use, um, well, chicken feet as crab bait. Have you guys ever eaten a chicken foot? All right, guys, we're gonna switch it up here just a little bit. I rigged up this crab trap. I just threw some, some salmon bits in here, uh, some skin and a couple of collars. So a crab trap should, in theory, sit like this on the bottom. Crabs run in there, they do their thing, gobbling on the bait, and then when you pull, boom, this thing comes up and catches the crabs. So uh, I have caught one this way before, so we'll see if uh, we can catch another one here today. I don't know guys, that snare wasn't doing too hot for me, so I just felt like uh, switching it up a little bit. All right guys, what do you think? Let's, uh, let's try uh, and see if this trap got us something. All right, three, two, one, go. Oh, the reel's bound up. Oh, my reel's failing my reel it's not working it does feel like we have something though maybe not nah, it's probably just a trap oh man guys my reel is screwed up whoa I <laughs> just got soaked there. All right, little pen, come on. You gotta just do this one more time. One more time, stay with me here. Hopefully it doesn't seize up. Three, two, one, and go! Oh, it's seizing. Ah, uh, that sucks. The trap feels heavy. Yes, 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 yes. We got a crab, we got a crab. Look at him. Nice, it is a a male too. Guys, awesome, we have a freaking Dungeness crab. Let's get him in the bucket here. Okay, that uh, trap worked. Yes. Just kind of grab them by the back legs like that and then their claws can't get to your fingers. But uh, make sure that you don't press their back legs like really tight hold them kind of loosely uh, otherwise you could probably hurt their little little joints there what we need here is uh six inches and you measure on the inside not on this point but on just on the inside of that so as you can see we are just short oh man oh guys that pains me that pains me Make sure to throw him in when the water comes up. That way he doesn't fall very far. There we go. And he's good. He fell right into the foam. All right, well, now that we're done crabbing, which was horrible today, uh, <laughs> we're gonna try and use the rest of this uh, sunlight to hopefully catch some surf perch. Man, guys, look at that sunset. That is just beautiful. 
That uh, kind of heals the wounds of that crabbing that we just did. That was sad. Hey, this is exactly the same spot where we did the uh, the Hooters uh, perch video. Let's see if we can catch a perch. Besides uh, one bite that sadly didn't hook up, didn't catch anything, but I won't give up. Let's do it. All right, guys, I'm not gonna lie. That's been a uh, challenging day so far. Caught a bunch of little, little non-keeper crabs. One was so close, so close to a catch and cook, guys. And got one bite, just one bite, a surf perch. So we're gonna drive a little bit further south Hopefully get lucky down there. I'd make my day. At least if I can catch some clams tonight, that'll be that that'll be cool enough. So let's just keep our fingers crossed for that. Alright, so here we go. This is the uh, road here that takes you out on the beach. No parking here to beach. Don't worry, we're going on the beach, officer. That's hot in here. I'm gonna open up the window. We are here. Wow. And now we're just gonna wait for uh, the tide to go down so that we can start looking for some razor clamps. So I've got hours to kill till low tide. Low tide isn't until 10 and it is about 7 p.m. right now. Guys, I'm killing a little bit of time here uh, just aiming my camera in the sky. The Milky Way is so clear above me. Check that out. So freaking cool. Had to share some of that with you guys. Things just turned around for us, finally. I did a test dig, found a hole that looked like a razor clam, and boom, we got one. So camera's on because there's more. There's one right here. You guys see that little, uh, see that little divot down there? Then there's another one I think right here. So to, to get the clam, this is a clam gun right here. And to pull them out, you place the opening right over the center. So I work that clam gun in there slowly. Nice and easy. If you feel crunching or like you're hitting something like a rock, it's the clamp. So back off a little bit and ease over it. Just wiggle, wiggle it over that clamp. It's okay if you got to do it in a couple goes. All right, we're gonna we're gonna pull out. I think that's a winner, guys. I think that was a winner. We got him. Look at that. <laughs> He's squirting water, guys. We are going to cook something tonight. Then you just put the clams in your little bag right here. Sweet. That's two. Oh, this one's good, guys. That's a good one. Look at that hole, it's sinking away. Let's get them. There we go, that's a, that's a better size right there. We'll take them, we won't complain. The heck is this? Oh, it's a little sand flea. <laughs> Look at this little guy. Look at that rascal. A couple uh, other YouTubers who have eaten these things before. Now in Washington, it's not legal actually to eat them, so we're gonna just gonna return them. There he goes. Check it out. That's a clam. <laughs> Do you guys see that? So that's often what you'll find is as you're digging one clam, all of a sudden you'll see other ones like right there. See that? That's another clam. One at a time, boys, one at a time. Ah, there we go, got him. Ah, you know what, we're gonna put him in the bag. Remember, they can, they can run away pretty easily. 
12, 13, 14, 15. We got them. Limited on clams within, took us less than 20 minutes. Oh guys, look at that. See, that's the uh, clam trying to dig back uh, into the ground. Look at how quick they can do that. All right, so then all we got to do to clean these little guys here is we're gonna take our scissors. I wish I had uh, my knife with me here right now, but uh, we're just gonna run that through here to separate the, the meat off of the shell. There we go. Okay guys, so the uh, clam is out of the shell. So this tube here has two vents in there. We're gonna go through the top one. You can see the scissor come out right there. Clean that top one out. Now we'll go through the bottom one. Do that. Now the basics of this clam is all the, uh, the white stuff essentially is meat. Uh, one thing I do is just cut just the very tip here of the, the vent tube off. Not too much, I don't want to waste any meat, but just a, just a tad. This brown stuff right here you don't want, so you just kind of gently scoop that off. Okay, so uh, this is all edible right here. So you can see that's like a little baby scallop. Okay, but this is uh, pretty clean. So we're gonna take that, dump that in there. That's some fresh clam meat. But then there's one part uh, left that we want as well, and that's the uh, little foot that they have. That's what they use to dig down into the ground. So we're gonna cut it off right under that, that brown stuff. That way we know it's just clean meat that we're getting here. And that is just a clean chunk of meat there too. We got half an avocado that got a little, little squished. Uh, we got a little bit of butter here. Oh, what's that? Now this year I'm really excited about. This is black garlic. This stuff here is literally cooked or like baked at I think 120 or 125 degrees for 20 days. Look at how black that garlic actually is. But it is absolutely delicious. Look how it cuts. stuff so delicious that we're actually gonna we're gonna do all of it every single bit there we go and congratulations grace and c for winning some sweet northwest fishing secrets merch you chose the salmon hoodie thank you everyone else also for participating and buying the merch because it directly supports local marine cleanup and conservation so today only a little tiny bit of Danish sea salt because those clams already we washed those off in salt water. So, so we don't need a whole lot of that. I think guys, we're gonna really give it a, a lot of pepper today. All right, I think those onions are uh, ready for this black garlic. So we're just gonna chop it finely here. That uh, garlic and those onions, they are getting along so well in there. They're best friends now. All right, now we're gonna throw in the, uh, the clams, but I wanna cut them into just some, some smaller strips here. Dang guys, look at that, we totally scored. This is only, I didn't even do five of the clams, this is only four. Throw all of this uh, clam meat in there. Oh yeah. Ooh, it's saying yes, I like being in here. All that good smells absolutely fantastic 
man, I wish you guys could be here to, to try this. All right, guys, I'm, I'm gonna just sneak a little, sneak a little piece here. Let's get at one of those feet. Just see what it tastes like. Oh, wow. Super, super tender. I think that's a key with clams is make sure to not overcook them. Oh, man. Drop my spoon in the, the sand. Great. I totally forgot. I wanted to add just a little bit of some corn. There we go. Now, I did want to get this a little creamy here, too. Um, so what we've got is some some cream horseradish that we're gonna throw in there. I love horseradish. So uh, we're gonna give that a nice, nice little squirt there. Then uh, we're gonna throw in a little bit of tartar sauce. It's starting to look like a sandwich spread. yummy avocado on here. We're gonna throw some caviar on there. Some salmon roe. I've been looking forward to cooking with this all day. There we go. Oh man, have you guys seen that video of uh, <laughs> me just eating it down at the river? I'm like fresh out of the fish. Cure it up made some crackers and cream cheese and was just eating them down there. That was delicious. It's funny though, in the comments I saw that a lot of you are not into the salmon egg thing. But some of you said that you're gonna try it out, so props to you. Okay, this thing is just massive and I'm probably gonna make a huge mess. Here, look at that. Oh yes. All right, guys, I think we're ready for the big bite. Here we go. Mm. Guys, this is heaven. This is probably one of the best sandwiches I've ever had in my life. I'm, I'm not actually kidding. Look at that. Avocado coming out everywhere. Damn! Damn, that's good, guys. Wow. In the middle of the night, down on the Pacific coast, on the beach, freaking tsunami could get me here any second. Who knows, right? And I know you think it's weird, but those little salmon eggs in there, mm, they just add a whole nother level of flavor to the whole thing. There's some little salmon eggs right there. They're popped out. So we will see you guys for the next adventure. Until then, you know it. Fish on, baby.